So the thing that I wanted to talk about today is um, something that's really intangible and hard to define, but I think it's a really crucial component of doing really good therapy. And it's about like knowing what you're going for, what you're striving to accomplish in the therapy moment. Uh, so if you've seen me talk about conversational currents, you know that I believe that people like have different layers of, of themselves. And oftentimes what causes human suffering is that parts of themselves aren't harmonizing with other parts. And uh, you see this as like people saying something but meaning something else or saying something that means what they mean but not really getting at the deepest parts of what they're really experiencing. And uh, the way that I experience it is like um, when people talk from a disconnected or incoherent place, there's a weird, like the head or the words that are being said or what the, what's being communicated is vibrating at a different frequency than what the heart is doing. And the heart pulses at a lower frequency. And it just doesn't feel right. Uh, like for instance, I was talking to a woman today and I was talking with a group of women today and one of them started to nod vigorously and she's the one who doesn't speak up as much as everyone else does. And so everyone turned to her and said, what are you nodding about? And she gave this really poignant answer about how like, she can relate to the idea of always wanting to hide and not face the things that she's afraid of. And um, she said these things with tears in her eyes and it felt poignant. And people start to ask or respond by asking more questions or trying to resonate with that part. But for some reason I was dissatisfied. And um, I said, deeper, that's not authentic enough. It feels like we're talking in abstractions or something like that. And then uh, she said very, very powerful things that weren't the abstracted general principle, but just memories, memories of the way one of her parents looked at her or what they would say to her or the mean things that they would say. And they were this just incredibly vivid, evocative moments in her life that caused such pain. And then she was really, really like, um, really feeling sad about it. And we all just sat there. We didn't say a word. And I asked the other women what they were feeling and they said, I had a question, but then I let it go. And I really wanted to highlight for them that this is the moment and this is the place that we want to get to. We want to get to a place where there's no need to say anything else. Where we were, I think how I would describe it is um, holding her and hugging her with our gaze. And for me in those moments, I just feel such compassion and love for the other person and tenderness. And I feel like that's where we want to go. And she was a mess. She was uh, a, a sobbing mess, but she didn't feel shame. And that's typically what she feels. But she felt both more grounded and lighter at the same time. And uh, what I think happens is like the head and the heart start to harmonize. And there's a, there's a, they move in a slower frequency that pulses together. And when you become attuned or tuned to your head and heart, then the, the music that that produces necessarily makes other people resonate in their hearts. And there's no need for the brain to do anything else but just to like pulse in attunement with the other person. I have no idea whether that made sense to you guys or not. But I know that it's a really important point. So I'm gonna leave it out there as a video. And I hope that in future videos, this moment kind of makes sense because it's gonna keep happening again. Cause it's what I keep trying to achieve with people. Let me know if it works by all means. And uh, let me know if this format works as well. Cause I just wanna start giving you content and not worry about how good it looks and how produced it is. All right. Thank you.